Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I just got through recording my Arthur Rackham Tarot. Uh, and let's get into this deck, which I'm a little bit more excited about. Well, I like both of them so far. I like the Rackham Tarot because it does show art pieces that I've never seen before by Rackham. Um, and here we have uh, the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot, which recently I got two books, kind of, kind of to prepare for... Uh, this uh, for this deck uh this is a really big book this is by sandra 40 this is the pre-raphaelites i found this in my at uh, my at a little local bookshop I, I can't show it to you all here but it's a really big book to show really crisp images of uh the artwork of the pre-raphaelites and it's like a history of the pre-raphaelites uh and look at this oh gorgeous anyways but obviously this is a different type of deck uh wait <laughs> i also have another book <laughs> uh the essential Pre-Raphaelites uh, by Lucinda Hoxley. Uh, there was another copy actually at the bookstore of this book. Of this book, um, so yeah. And this one actually I do like quite a bit more. It's almost like how the Tarot of Delphi goes in and explains some of the art here. But this one also goes into like the history and like what was going on at the time of the artist's life while they were painting this or these paintings. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so let's see. Here we go. This isn't, though, exactly the Pre-Raphaelite uh, artworks. This was drawn by... Who's the artist's name? It should be here somewhere. By Gi Giuliano? No, I, I'm, Costa. He did... This artist did the Mystical Tarot, uh, which you can see a walkthrough of by, by Kelly from the Truth and Story. Um... And you can see it. Uh, I'm sure there's a few other walkthroughs of it, but that's the only one that I can think of that I've seen. I was like, maybe I'll get that one too so I can have it with this one. And I might order it as well uh, to have it with this one. I also want to get the John Bauer so it can go with the Rackham Tarot. Uh, you know, just to see. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this. Uh, so yeah, typical Los Carabeo packaging. Again, this was scheduled to be released in June uh, here in America. Um... But I'm like, I ain't going to wait. I want to try and get it sooner. And I did. So here it is. <gasps> Let me try. Ooh, oh, that's interesting. I do like how they added different things, but still keeping it based onto, uh, onto the tarot, meaning if that makes sense. Uh, let me try and get this. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Lots of plastic. Lots of packaging plastic. So I think this is like more borderless than like the the Rackham Terror where it has borders on the top and the bottom. I think this one just has borders on the bottom. Uh, so let's see how this looks. So yeah, here's the title card. Here is uh, Los Carabeos promo uh, card. That they always have to put in there. Here's the box, what it looks like on all sides. So yeah, and I will I will try to link in the description the website, uh, the eBay shop that I got this from. Uh, so if you don't want to wait till June, I think is when this is coming. Again, I'm not, I'm not sure. I need to double check. But look at these backs. Sorry for yelling, but still, <laughs> look at those backs. Look at them. Take a minute, breathe it in. Hold on. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in here. I'm not even gonna pause to zoom in. Look at that. Look at that. Let me bring this up a little more. Look at that. Let me actually zoom out more, actually. Um, trying to get the right angle here. Trying to get the right angle. Here we go. I want to zoom in, but I don't want to, like, cut off any image. Because this is a board. Look at that. Just... Okay, anyways. Probably one of my favorite backs. More aesthetically pleasing. Not really much there, you know, for divination purposes. There are backs out there being made that, you know, are for that. But anyways, here we have the art card. This is from... I think Circe, I think poisoning the sea is what's painted here, but they added in the lion. So I think she's supposed to be strength, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see. Here is the fool. This is definitely a similar fool to what I've seen in the mystical tarot. Uh, but again, it's borderless except for the bottom. And if you want to trim it off, you can go ahead and trim it off. Uh, I wonder if that'll affect... Well, you'll cut off some of the tail of the peacocks if you trim it. Um, but I think it... I think it'll be fine. Let's see, it'll be right there. Oh, it won't be too much of the peacock feathers, but I don't want to damage the back. 
and it would still be fine. This is a trimmable, this is a trimmable deck, but I'm not sure if this black border will be a hindrance uh, if you're, uh, if there are really dark cards here, so the size may be affected, but this will be definitely an easy trim here. Look at that magician. Look at her. Look at her. Take a minute. Let's just take a minute. <laughs> Uh, anyways, the High Priestess, I love her. Look at her. <laughs> That's going to be this. I'm just going to call this video, look at her. <laughs> she has her hat off. Uh, I wonder if this, I haven't seen, I'm not, I'm, mm, I need to look up what painting this is from. Uh, if there is like a direct correlation. Anyways, here's the Empress. Oh my gosh. Lots of women. Love it. <laughs> you know? But again, that's the pre-Raphaelite, you know, art style. Lots, lots and lots and lots of women. Uh, but this is more like, uh, I feel like this may be more titled uh, the Rossetti uh, art tarot, something like that. Because this is definitely, like, so far a lot of this seems very, like, uh, Dante Gabriel R Rossetti. I think that's his name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Like, so far those past few cards are all like that, uh, like his artwork. This though is a different one here. Here we have the emperor. Kind of, I like how it's a different, like a mix of the Marseille because the Marseille, he has his legs crossed, but he's facing forward towards us like the Rider Waite Smith. Um, so I love that you have the Aries Ram here, like in Rider Waite Smith. You have the scepter here and the, uh, and the, what, what are these called? I can't remember what they're called, but anyways. <laughs> I know that I know there's like a running joke of like what they what they're called. Uh here we have the Hierophant. I like how they're like offering the dove or so like this is this is this is interesting, you know. Like they're they're like he's teaching them to do whatever they're doing here, perhaps. This is, I love this Hierophant. I I I I might get the mystical tarot. This is different uh from what I've seen, but no, I like it. <laughs> Definitely the um, the lovers card uh, here with uh, with again the Rider Waite Smith, but here in the center we have a difference here. We have like the background is definitely that Rider Waite Smith traditional approach. Here we have the angel in the background with the with the with the sun. Uh, I wonder if that'll be like in the sun card. I wonder. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> here we have the chariot again, and very. I think it, this is very similar to the mystical tarot. I think I could be wrong. I, again, I'll get. I'll I'll order the mystical tarot and then I'll do a side by side comparison because it is the same artist. Um, but I definitely love this one more. Uh, so you can see the the Egyptian themes there in traditional Rider Waite Smith. I love that they're on this weird patterned road. You have the river behind them. Uh, and yeah, he's armored, and yeah, I'm trying to see, like, close to his, yeah, anyways, anyways, yeah, look at that, anyways, oh, here's the strength card, then I wonder what's going on with this card, unless that's not in this deck, <laughs> but I love the strength, I love it, <laughs> I love it, that's all I could say, <gasps> I love the hermit here, because that is the, this is inspired by the painting, The Light of the World, I believe, uh, it's, instead it's, I think it's Jesus with the lantern by a tree, but you can totally see like the hermit aspect and he definitely put him on top of a mountain to definitely fit that hermit, uh, approach uh, in the Rider Waite Smith. I love this hermit. Um, so yeah, here we have the wheel of fortune. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm trying to see like the symbols here. Yeah, with the sun in the center, and they're actually they look like swords almost, but they're not. Or are they? I don't know. Here we have the, the bull with the lion. The bull has his book open. The lion doesn't. Here he's obviously reading it. Here she's kind of like showing it. Interesting. We have here justice. It seems like there's three aspects of justice here. I feel like they're all... They're all aspects of justice. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Here we have the hanged man. Oh, what a beautiful hanged man. Look at that. Look at that. Let, let's get a better look at this. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
Let me see the, oh, wow, you have the red, white, and the black in the center there. Wow, okay, anyways, here we have Death, Ophelia, I believe this is a very popular painting. Here we have Temperance. Okay, typical Temperance. Again, it's not, like, it's definitely taking the themes of the Pre-Raphaelites and definitely putting them and changing them up to fit the tarot. Actually redrawing them to fit more tarot uh, aesthetic, uh, or aesthetic, uh, the tarot symbology. So here we have the devil. I love the devil as a woman. I love it. I love it. She's, she did that. That's what she's doing. Oh, look at this tower. <laughs> so chaotic. So much energy. So much, so much chaos going around. Uh, whoa. Oh, but look at the star. Okay. Okay. <laughs> An okay star. I do like the star here and the and the night sky. Look at that sky. Let me get a good look at that sky. Come on, you can do it. No? Let me tap on this real quick. There we go. Come on. Hold on, it's because my hand is shaking. Let me see if I can there we go. If I pull it back. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, back to autofocus. Um, let's see, it'll focus on her face. Nope, it's probably like, no, there's boobs there. I'm not going to focus on that. <laughs> Here we have the moon card. I do love this moon card. That you see the traditional moon card. But they just had two beautiful women here. You know, two aspects of the self, perhaps. Uh, I do like the shell in her hair. And then you have the leaf here. So I wonder what's there. Yeah, we have the roses. Yeah. Anyways, here we have the sun. Okay, we have a baby. Doesn't look too creepy, but it's still a baby. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. But again, I did... What, interesting symbol there. I wonder what that is. I wonder if it says. Let's, let's see the guidebook. Let's see. The sun. Let's see if it says anything. I, I doubt it'll say much. Oh, wait. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so they don't throw this for everyone, but as I mentioned with the with the hermit, it says here, uh, you need to shed light on the past to evolve in the future, which I mean, it kind of applies because it's 19. The sun relates back to the hermit in a way. Uh, crisis, wisdom, loneliness, poverty, ascetic asceticism I, I, I can never figure out how to pronounce that uh, contemplation the person who, okay and then it says curiosity the person who posed for the figure of christ depicted in the painting uh the light of the world by william holman hunt see arcanum the hermit uh was a woman christina rossetti dante gabriel's uh sister and a poet really i really should read that book that i have <laughs> i guess i just barely got it yesterday or the day before uh so definitely gonna crack that book open and go through it um the artist's intention was to express the androgyny of the soul and the fusion of opposites in the divine. Look at that. Pickles scratching herself. So anyways, where was I? Sun. Here we go. Uh, the soul is light. Let it show itself. Oh, I love that. I love these little sayings in, 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 in the little font here. Uh, paternal archetype, success, joy, optimism, teamwork vitality if it's up but if it's the paternal archetype i would i kind of would like to see like a grown man on the horse like in the tarot tarot of Prague. um that sun like they have an alternate sun card uh instead of the baby there's like a like a like an adult man there so here we have judgment interesting how you have like a, a bones that have decomposed rising up as well what an interesting graveyard but it's yeah and the angel blowing his trumpet. Here we have the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I am definitely impressed. Uh, yeah. Here we have the Ace of Cups. Is this cups or is this? Yeah, these are cups. Okay, cups. I thought I for a second I thought with the with the with the communion whatever the um, the Eucharist uh, there I thought maybe but then it's like no that that applies to Rider Waite Smith but I love 
her outfit here, um, the growth of the plants here, the water with the lilies in the back. Uh, you see that there's definitely several nods to Rider Waite Smith here. Again, here with the with the Two of Cups. Um, this is definitely. I think this is from. This is a reinterpretation of John Waterhouse's uh, painting. I think. I think it's John Waterhouse with where it's this one with the wind blowing back towards her and her like veil is blowing behind her and she's like reaching for this knight here. Yeah. Here we have the Three of Cups. Yeah. Traditional Three of Cups. Yeah. Here we have the Four. It looks like they're like searching for this last cup up here, but they're looking in the wrong place. Or maybe they're like, I'm tired of getting all these cups. Let's pick these flowers instead. Here we have the five. Okay, very... Almost like a... F like it wants to do another four of cups. But no, this is another... I think this is the uh, another interpretation of... What, what painting is that? Oh, I have it in my mind. Oh, I have a, I think I have a card of it. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Give me a minute. All right. So I wasn't quite able to find the exact one. It's similar to this, or this may be what he may be referencing to. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be about like, I can't remember who this figure is. I can't remember who painted it. Oh, I'm unprepared for this. <laughs> oh, but you get, but I love this because you can actually see the reflection of this archway in the crystal ball. But again, that's not going on in this deck. And this here is the painting that I was talking about in the Two of Cups here. Definitely you can totally see that there. I think there's even a cup there if you can see that. There you go. Well, anyways. There we go. That was from the Pinchos du Monde uh, Oracle deck. Uh, which I think you can get off of uh, makeplayingcards.com. Uh, and so, but anyways, moving on though. Moving on though. Uh, but I know there's another painting that I think she actually is holding a cup. I think. I could be wrong. Ah, look at that. That's the painting I just showed with a six. Look at that. Hmm. Uh, from the from the book that I showed. Uh, so yeah, here we have... Oh yeah, this is Pandora's box here. Um, with the seven. That definitely fits with the seven of cups there. Uh, curiosity and wonderment. But what are those true figures really doing there? You know, I do love the the, the, the items here. Victory and riches, you know. The dragon and the castle, or the tower, the wreath of victory again, uh, the serpent here again. Very right away, Smith. Here we have uh, the eight of cups. This is from this is another painting. This is the star card, I believe, in the or the moon card. Um, this is in one of the seven. This is in one of the either the sevenfold mystery or the alchemical tarot. This painting is used there. Very interesting, weird creature here. You can definitely see like uh, the artist uh, habit of um, these weird, quirky little animals uh, from his mystical tarot. Uh, so yeah, here we have the nine. Oh, look at that pre-Raphaelite brotherhood. There we go. There we go. I wonder if they're if they're throwing a curiosity here with the cups as well. The chalices. Let's see. Finally, you deserve a well-earned rest, Convi conviviality. Oh, that's a new word. Enjoying life, relaxation, and comforts. Okay, I can see that. Luxury. But I do like the black and white uh, tiles here. Kind of looks like another Nine of Cups. The Marielle. All right. Here we have the Ten. All right. All right. <laughs> Typical Ten. No rainbow, but, you know, I, I feel like there doesn't really need to be a rainbow. Uh, here we have the page. All right. All right. All right. The knight. Kind of looks the same here. The same head pointing down, holding up the cup here. Here we have the queen. Okay. Gorgeous queen. You know. Here we have the king. I do love the patterns on their thrones. I wonder if she... Yeah, she kind of has it too, but I like his, how it's much more standout-ish. Anyways, moving on. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is the Ace of Pentacles. I love... Are those multiple wings? Yes, they are. I love an angel with many wings. <laughs> Here we have the two. I'll, I'll go back through this and find the art painting, the paintings and, the, you know, the original drawings of what these are. Um, of these uh, of these paintings. Uh, and I'll show, like, oh, this is what this is and all that. 
Uh, here we have the four. I've never seen this one, so I have no idea. But again, you do see that four of coins uh, typical uh, depiction here from the Rider Waite Smith. Here we have the five. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Typical five. <laughs> Uh, here we have the six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do like how it does kind of reflect that one figure in the middle and then the two at the bottom that you see in like the majors, like the Hierophant and uh, and the Lovers and the Devil. You see, I do like how you can see that there. Uh, here we have uh, the seven of coins. It's a pot of basil or basil. Basil or basil? <laughs> Here we have the eight. What's going on in this one? What's in this one? What is, what painting is this? I don't know. I have to go through and see it. I have never seen that painting. Here we have the nine. This is the painting that I always open up the books on when I, uh, when I crack open the books. It's like I always open it up right on those pages. So, yep. And right when I open it, it does. Oh, here it is. This is uh, April Love by Arthur Hughes. Uh, you can see the similarity there. Well, kind of. If this book is too big. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Maybe I'll, like, get, like, I don't know, like, download images of those artworks and then print them out on makeplayingcards.com so I can have, like, the image to the side of the actual painting and then the card right here and have them compared there. Maybe. So I do like how there's these scattered petals there. Here we have the ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the page. The, I think the courts are kind of where he kind of, you know, I I ignores the pre-Raphaelite artwork, unless there is, like, unless this is, like, an, uh, an artwork, but it seems to be just, like, a court card, you know? Oh, I love this queen. Very different. Yeah, I like her. I like her. She's my favorite. <laughs> you have the rabbit there. You have uh, the garden. The garden and everything going on with the roses. Let's see, is that more pentacles? Uh, I like her crown. <laughs> It's very, it's very big. I like the crown because it points out like, hey, this is a court card, you know. Uh, you, you may confuse it with other things. But anyways, here, ooh. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. I like this king. I like the deep, like all the little designs going on there. Aesthetically, he's very beautiful. Oh, it's a bird. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I thought that's a weird pot. It's a bird. Uh, he has a sword there, but it's like kind of hidden. Um, he's definitely caring for it. It's a shield, but you see the coin here. So it's like the symbolic figure of the coin is what he's protecting or something. He has the bull here, but he also has the ram here. Or is that supposed to be the goat for Capricorn? I don't know. Here we have the ace of wands. The two. Okay. I think I know what this is in reference to. It's just a different angle of it. Uh, I think it might be in the Majestic Earth Tarot, might be what I'm thinking of, um, of this. But instead of, like, the front side, we actually look at his back and he's looking out at the horizon. Definitely a two of wands. Oh, here we have the three of wands. This is in... Where is this painting? I just passed it here. I don't know what it's called. I, it's also in that book. Again, I should have been more prepared, but I just wanted to share the images of the cards to see what we were getting with this deck. Yeah, I can't find it right now, but it's here somewhere. It's here somewhere, and I'm going to find it. I'm now. Now I'm already. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so this painting here. You can see it's like the shipwreck going down. And she's looking out at the shipwreck. Uh, but here, yeah, the shipwreck is right there too. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, that's an interesting take because usually you see the the, the, the boats coming in, uh, and they seem fine. But here we actually see like her efforts of bringing something back in failure, which does take a much more negative uh, connotation to it. But um, it's so close to the shore. Maybe the oceans will still bring in the the wares and you know what the, the trades and everything that she that she was you know investing into up to the shore. So she may be able to to salvage something out of it. But again, shit happens. Here we have the four of wands. Different four of wands. Almost like a mother figure gathering stuff for her child. Uh, very different from you know the celebratory four of wands. Here we have the five. Very conflicting, very, you know, competitive. Not so much, well, not, not not so much of a fighting type, but more of a competitive type of five of wands. 
Here we have the Six of Wands, the, the Ride, I believe is what it's called. Uh, so yeah, or or it's in this. I think it's in this in this deck, the Painters Demand Oracle. It's called the Ride. Um, but this is um, damn. I can't remember what it's at, who she is, and like she she rode through the through the streets naked. But I think that's like a false myth. I don't think that's what actually happened. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the whole story. Someone please correct me in the comments down below, uh, or I'll do a much more proper in depth video later on. This is just a first impression, so. Yeah, here we have the Seven of Wands. All right, the Eight. Oh, that's beautiful with the with the Death Head Moths, and you have the Caterpillars here. So yeah, here we have the Nine of Wands. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm this actually, I think this is the Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Coins in the Tarot of Delphi. You see, like a nymph, a tree nymph coming out of the tree. Oh, that ass. <laughs> Here we have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> mm. Oh, I dropped something. <laughs> uh, here we have the page. All right. I like how he looks very, like, royal and, you know, but he's a page still. Like, he's acting like he thinks he's hot shit, but he really isn't, you know. Uh, here we have the knight, the pyramid in the back, yeah. Yeah, here we have the queen. Okay, yeah, the black cat. We have the lions there that you see in the typical Rider Waite Smith. She's wearing a chain around her waist. Uh, lots of sunflower here. The lizard in the back. Love her dress. Love the outfit. I love the looks. Yeah, this is this is a funny looking king, but I like it. So yeah. Here we have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. Okay, typical Two of Swords. I love the sky back here. Let's get a, let's see if I can zoom into that sky. Look at that. Look at that. I love his skies here. Yeah. Here we have... Oh, he's he's pulling in some Solabusca inspirations here. And look at... There's the Annunciation there. But he threw on this... Uh, he blended quite a bit with the Sola Busca. I think that Ten of Wands is definitely a Sola Busca reference. Um, let me see that. Yeah, yeah, that Ten of Wands is definitely... Yeah, Sola Busca does have some weird, like... Uh, have some weird body proportions going on there. Um, but yeah, this is definitely... Sola Busca is just slapped on there with the enunciation of her... Of her, of her pregnancy... I love the flaming feet. This is a really tall painting, but he was able to redraw and fit everything into one small into into this card. And yeah. But anyways, here we have the four of swords. Yeah, this is another one. I think he's supposed to be dead or he's supposed to be sleeping. I can't remember. Here he's sleeping. Uh, he's tired. He had a long day. <laughs> uh, oh, this five of swords. This is in another deck. Um, there's another deck that's like pre-existing artwork put into. Uh, into a tarot deck. I can't remember what it's called though, but Sacred Seed did a video of it and I remember this being, I think it was like the Knight of Swords or something? I think it was a knight. I don't know. Um, but I do like this warping uh, dragon here, but it's much more of a conflict card where the Five of Swords is much more traditionally viewed as a, as a, uh, as a victory and defeat. Oh wait, no, you see the two people running away though. It seems like here, guy, here guys, I'm going to handle this or something and everyone and everyone else just ran off, you know. Ah, here we go, the Six of Swords, the Lady of Shalot, but he added two fi two more figures to, uh, to you know, to emphasize the Rider Waite Smith Six of Swords. So it makes it much more familiar, because some people like to see the two, like the child and the man rowing, you know, uh, you know. So yeah, I wonder what's going on in those in in here. Let me get a quick look here. Uh, can't quite see what's being depicted in those three circles there. My camera will focus. No? Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that. Anyways, moving on. Next card. Here we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, yeah. Look at her. She's like, she's doing it. <laughs> she did that. Here we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Oh, I love how there's the cross swords here. But it doesn't seem like this water that she's in front of it doesn't seem deep for some reason. Maybe that's just me. And I also like how the swords seem to be, be like wibbling here.
here. But she can totally like get out of there. You know, so yeah. As long as she doesn't step backwards. Alright, here we have the nine of swords. I like the intercrossing here. She's obviously in distress. Uh, here we have the Ten of Swords. I like the storm clouds building, but I, you know, it, it. he seems much more like he's sleeping or he's just like putting off what needs to be done, putting off hunting or something. Um, oh, that's so weird. I thought the mountains were like more like clouds or something, but no, it's like, it's reflected. That, that's interesting. Interesting. Oh, I love this page. I like the shield that he has. Yeah. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Carrying the scales of justice. She is the Libra. I like her. Here we have the queen. She's kind of like, and what about it? You know? Yeah, <laughs> um, oh, here we have a nice, uh, cool looking king here. I like his, his, um. Uh, his what is it like a cape or something what are they? a shawl <laughs> uh what is that an eagle in this in there we have we have four people kneeling and kind of bowing to him so yeah i love it but again uh the courts kind of took like a little bit you know a little bit more he took a little bit of liberty uh artistic liberty with the courts i feel on a few of them uh but yeah anyways ooh Again, nice sturdy cardstock, not so flimsy and flexible as uh, usual Los Carabello cardstock is. Some people don't like Los Carabello cardstock, but this I think is definitely a deck that, and I've said that about the Rackham Tarot too, but this one as well will definitely, I, I hope, will be in print for many years to come and will be like a staple of Los Carabello's decks, you know. Wait, because this is just gorgeous. And I'm definitely going to get uh, the Mystical Tarot. Uh, and this is definitely something different, because I don't think I've ever seen a deck like with these borders from Los Carabeo, if I'm not mistaken, uh, where it's just the borders at the bottom here, and it's completely borderless everywhere else. I think this is definitely a first, and so far, no missing cards, I think, unless someone's like watching this back, like, wait a second, where's that card? <laughs> um... But so far, I, I like it. Typical Rider Waite Smith. It's not really reinventing the wheel, but it definitely does look very, very beautiful. And I do wish, though, that the Little White Book had more of these little things, like what they wrote in the in the Hermit um, here, like that. Uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna go through here uh, with here because it actually shows something else here. Uh, here we in the Little White Book, it has. Um, you know, an introduction here, it says Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, you know, the PRB there, like I mentioned. Um, then we have the Muses, okay, and then we have the Ideals of the Pre-Raphaelites, uh, and then Art and Magic, and Arcana and the Works, uh, and then it goes into the Major Arcana. So I don't know how long uh, <laughs> it'll take me to, like, do a proper in-depth review of this, Um but, uh, this is, you know, but it's, uh, <laughs> but I'll do a, I'll do a much better review of both this deck and the Rackham Tarot, uh, and I'll definitely go through, maybe back through some of my decks that I first did first impressions of and do much more well-rounded reviews, because that's been a topic that I've been, that has been thrown around recently, uh, of what's a, what is just a walkthrough that's being called a review, but not really a review, because a review would actually point out you know, some flaws or anything and, you know, kind of take off the rose-colored glasses and do a proper talk and review of, like, what could have been done differently, what would you have liked to have seen, what needs to be fixed, you know. So, yeah, but so far, so far, first impressions, I'm enjoying it. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Uh, let me, let me, let me zoom this out first. You're going to see quite a bit of mess because I pulled out quite a few decks. Uh, oh no, you didn't, but still. Let me put you here. Let me put you up here because I need to get you out of the way. There we go. Oops, sorry, knocking the camera. All right, let's cut the deck. And let's see how these cards look laid out. I can't, I'm not going to be, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all of them, but from what I'm seeing, I like it. 
Let's keep it, how about let's keep just keep it uh, vertical. Doesn't matter, not an actual reading here. Um, yeah, again, borderless works with this deck here. Some decks, you know, you, it's too much, but this here I feel kind of works well. I like how this seems to, be, I like how this wand bridges between the two here. Yeah, definitely, uh, directions definitely work with this here. Anyways, so yeah, there we go. I'm not going to read too much into that. Uh, this has been a walkthrough and first impressions of the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot uh, by, who is the artist? Uh, Giuliano Costa. I'm pretty sure this was going to be Temperance or either, well, you know, people like to put that as Temperance, but she really is, like the story behind this painting really isn't temperance like uh, she is pissed in this in this painting um so strength would have that definitely would have worked well um her inner line definitely coming out and be like y'all fucked with me get ready <laughs> and then she poisoned the sea and she did that uh of course little tuck box nothing much to talk about los carabello size standard size here's like standard tarot card size uh i think yeah, it's a bit shorter and obviously thinner. That's, again, typical Los Carabello size. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, and I will see you all. Oh, almost forgot the little guidebook there. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one when I do a proper review of these decks. So, yeah, who knows? Hopefully I'll be able to work with them. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm referencing also to the uh, Rackham Tarot Um so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all when I go live. All right. Bye-bye.